it's Tybug and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Today we're back in the kitchen and we are going to be making some white chocolate cheesecakes. I decided to make this because they had these little uh, Keebler graham cracker little cake pans on sale for a dollar when I was at the store. So I was like, of course I have to get that and make something with it. So first, little housekeeping. This is not a real eyebrow slit. This is a makeup look I did um, inspired by Hyunjin's a photo shoot for Cosmopolitan. So that's what this is. The tutorial is going to be on my TikTok, which will be linked down below. But I think that's all my housekeeping stuff. If there's more, I'll probably add it in later. But yeah, if you guys aren't already subscribed, please subscribe. Make sure to leave a like if you like it and comment if you want. So let's get started. So this is a recipe I found on Pinterest. Actually, I looked it up on Google and then I pinned it to a Pinterest board of mine, but it is by the inbloombakery.com and it's what it's called is the white chocolate cheesecake recipe. So hopefully these are still good because I think I got them at the end of the year or the beginning of the year and it's February now so I'm assuming they're still gonna be good and it says this makes about um, eight tartlets so I'm going to be doubling the recipe because I have more than eight of these pans so let me go over the ingredients and sorry if you can hear a chicken we've been having a rooster problem and the cats aren't dealing with it <laughs> I'm kidding the cats won't hunt the roosters they'll hunt the chickens though and the chicks, little chickies. But anyways, recipe. So we have cream cheese, eight ounces cream cheese, double it, 12 ounces cream cheese. <laughs> that is not correct. Then white chocolate. It said the best white chocolate would be the Ghirardelli white chocolate, so I got the Ghirardelli white chocolate, but the chocolate chips. And then obviously we have the little mini pie pans. It says you can make them with uh, golden Oreos, but that's a lot of work, so I'm not gonna do all that. And then also heavy whipping cream and vanilla. Vanilla, I haven't gotten that out yet, but I'll get, get that. So the first part it tells you to do is make the little pie pans, but I don't need to do that because I already have the little pie pans made. And I just broke a handle, but it's okay. Handle. <laughs> So it says to do 8 ounces softened cream cheese in a medium sized bowl and mix until smooth and fluffy. It also said to do the a whipping cream until it makes stiff peaks and that was something I struggled on making my uh, souffle pancakes. So hopefully I can do it better this time. I was hoping I could do it in my little stand mixer over there but it's not enough ingredients to do it so I just decided not to. So hopefully this isn't too hard but I have faith in myself. And then this cream cheese expired in January so let me double check to make sure it's still okay. I don't want to get sick. That would not be bueno. Still trying to practice my Spanish. Oh, also these cats, there's a new one. Uh, if you've been on my Twitch, you've heard about the new one. But this little one, that's what her name is, she's been clawing up my hands and I'm full of like cuts and especially this finger because for Kit, I like to poke him on the nose, but she will claw at my finger. So this finger's all ripped up. So, smells great. So I'm going to get the cream cheese in here because it needs to be softened and whipped up and that is hard to do. It's been a while since I've done a cooking video. It's so fun to get back into the kitchen. I have another recipe on standby as well. I got all the ingredients for that so I'll be making that soon. Keep an eye out for it. But it's going to be more of a savory dish than a, than a, a dessert dish. I made a, a mini cheesecake before recently. I also made a baked cheesecake on this channel earlier, but this mini one I made was kind of like the similar ingredients with the whipping cream and the cream cheese. It was pretty good. So I'm hoping this tastes the same. I didn't really like my baked, um, my baked cheesecake. It just it was too sour, so hopefully this is sweeter because it has the white chocolate in it. I've decided to let the cream cheese soften a bit because it's still a bit hard. So I'm going to be melting my chocolate chips. 
Um, I'm going to be doing just the regular microwave method because I don't really want to do a double boiler or whatever, whatever. Also, that's like a lot of work. So this is for your everyday little chef. We're doing it in a microwave. So eight ounces is a, is a cup. So, and then I have to double that. But I don't want to melt, melt too much at a time because um, it can burn, I guess. Oh, that's a lot. Maybe I should do half a cup at a time. Should I even double this? Well, I already doubled it. So I'll do a little bit at a time. I'll heat this up. I'm going to start at 30 and mix it up and go in 30 second intervals. I thought I liked white chocolate, but I didn't like that at all. They smell fine. Chocolate chips don't go bad, so... Am I just picky? But I'm going to do hand mixing for this cream cheese and the heavy whipping cream. It takes a while to get it to the stiff peaks, so I might have to start doing that first. It did recommend to do that first, but we're multitasking here. Oh wait, the spoon is fine. It said to use a spatula, but I don't want to use a spatula. Oh man, it's melting, but then the microwave blew out. <laughs> I'll be back, but when I come back, hopefully all the white chocolate has been melted and I've started whipping up the whipped cream. <laughs> hey, I've melted all of my chocolate and right now I'm whipping up the whipping cream and it's almost to stiff peaks. Luckily on this hand mixer, it has like all of the labels of what to do, so the top one is whip. So you won't be able to hear me, but let's go. What constitutes a stiff? Okay, I think we got it. Yeah. Okay. Now I need to make this fluffy. So then I can add in the white chocolate and the vanilla and then fold that in. So, I don't know, maybe... There's a whipped cream option, so... This is my least favorite part of doing this stuff. Look at that. Okay, I need to get that off somehow. Now's when I need a spatula. But I don't have a spatula. Where's the spatulas? Here we go, a spatula. Let's see if I can get any of this off. the white chocolate now. Don't fall. I need to wipe this off first. I have so many little cuts on my hands that it feels like they're getting full of cream cheese, which is not a great feeling. Into the pot we go. This one got a little burnt. Oh, that's way too hot. Hold up. <laughs> I've admit, it's covered in white chocolate. How do I do this? Oh no, I'm getting it all covered in white chocolate.
It's the white chocolate oven mitt. I just have a giant chunk on the floor here. I always make such big messes while I'm cooking. It's a surprise anyone wants me to continue cooking. Okay, I added one and one half teaspoon of vanilla, mix that up, and now I'm going to fold in the heavy whipping cream. Fold is just another version of mixing. Or at least that's how I understand it, because there's a fold option on here. Ah! Oh, I spilt that. Oh well, lots to clean up. Let's get this all off the rim so we can mix it up. And I'll show you what the inside of the bowl looks like in just a second, because I know it's kind of hard to see there. And fold is like the bottom option. with cooking you can't be a f oh that's why it keeps loosening up because that's the ejector button there anyways you can't be afraid of making a mess because everything is gonna be messy especially while you're still learning you know it's not gonna be all pristine like you see it on the cooking shows if anything if it's comparing it to a cooking show it'd be more like Selena's cooking show you know where she's being taught by big hotshot chefs Oopsies. I'm just finishing whipping everything together. A lot of it is up on the edges here, so I want to make sure everything gets mixed in nice. Nice and neat. And then I can start putting them into the little, little cups. Oh. I think we're ready. Yay! Okay, so my working station is very messy. So I'm just gonna be pushing everything to the side so I can cup them. And then they're gonna go into the fridge for four hours or more to cool. But look at how little cute they are. Got to get all of them out. I should probably put them on a tray. That makes sense, wouldn't it? Maybe I could put in a cupcake tray. Maybe that would work. I don't know. Oh man. <laughs> it's okay. Everything is fine. Everything is okay. I will find space to put all of these in the fridge. I should get that off my shirt right now, shouldn't I? Okay, don't mind the great big wet spot on my shirt. I think I can just use a spoon to do this. That's my wet chocolate spoon, so I should probably use a new spoon. New spoon! Let's see how much I can put in here. So like two and a half, and look at, oh wait, uh, let me adjust the brightness. Look at how cute they are. And then you could put little berries on the side or, you know, more white chocolate chips. So now I'm just going to be putting those all into the little cups and I will see you guys after four hours. Well, it'll be like 20 seconds for you guys, but for me, it's gonna be like a lot of hours. So peace. It is now the next night and it's ready to eat. So I'm gonna be eating this one, but let me show you how beautiful this one is. Oh, I have to lower the brightness. But look at, we have just the, the perfect filling. It, it's solidified and with crust. It's so beautiful. And like you can add berries and whipped cream and white chocolate chips or chocolate chips or car oh, caramel sauce would be so good on this. Ah, I don't have caramel sauce. But I have a lot of these little mini cheesecakes, so I have time. Okay, I'm gonna try this one. 
I kind of want to eat it just like, but I don't think I can scoop it out of here real. Let's see if I can get some of the crust. Oh. I like this a lot better than the baked cheesecake I did, but yesterday I realized after I was done cooking this and, you know, letting it solidify in the fridge that I doubled everything in the recipe except for the vanilla extract, oil, vanilla flavoring. So it does have kind of a strong cheese, crunchy taste, and not as much of a white chocolate taste, but... I like it. It's really good. And it was really easy to make. So I feel like anyone can make this no matter what their skill level is. I didn't realize that some cheesecakes are just like so easy to make. So now I can have cheesecake whenever I want. So that is all that I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment. And I can't wait to see you guys on the next one. We have um, feta bread that I'm going to be making next. And more makeup looks. So there's a whole bunch of videos of mine if you want to go see more. There'll be some on the end screen and I have a whole bunch of playlists. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you are healthy and safe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!